Welcome back for another fictionalhead.com quick tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do um, opacity masks in Illustrator the way that you would normally be used to doing them in Photoshop. Um, in Photoshop it's a lot easier because you can have uh, just a layer mask and then anything that you do in Photoshop where you've got black in your layer mask it doesn't show up and where you have white in your layer mask it does show up. Uh, this kind of thing isn't as common in Illustrator so if you're doing say a uh, package design or something that needs to be an Illustrator and you want to use this effect but you don't know how this is how you would go about doing it. Um, and actually this is kind of funny thing about this image I was actually riding my bike one day and it, the local dentist office here the sun had reflected off of a light one of those carriage lights that they had shining on their sign and the sun had focused in the reflective nature of the light and lit the bush on fire so I went in and told them you know hey your side of your buildings on fire because the light lit it on fire with the sun magnification they called the uh, fire department which was actually about 200 feet away ironically enough and you heard the siren turn on and the guy drove over in his little truck and put it out like two minutes later it was the most anticlimactic bushfire of all time but that aside um, if you want to use a kind of white to black representation of your layer mask the way that you're used to in Photoshop uh, just make that object with light to black and then what you do is put it above wherever you want uh, it to apply so I'm just going to do this chunk of the image here grab both of the objects and then under your transparency tab which is under window transparency if you don't have it open uh, hit the little arrow in the corner and then hit make opacity mask and what this does is it'll have it'll allow the image to come through where it's white and not where it's black and completely not at all wherever that object wasn't uh, it's a little bit of a pain because you still, when you grab it, it has the big, um, the big shape of the original photo and all that. But um, doing it this way helps if you have to do it in Illustrator. Um, I personally would suggest just doing it in Photoshop and then placing the final image in Illustrator. But that aside, that's how you do it. Um, in Illustrator, they just call it an opacity mask. And then once you've had it created, you can also hit the little button in the corner again and release it or disable it or change it in any way. Um, so that's the tip. If you have any questions, shoot them to me in Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, uh, and hope it was helpful.